to the ultimate showdown, man. We are deep into this tournament. And Ken, we've got something very interesting today. We do. We've got the Wolves of Steel, who you look at the Wolves of Steel at one point, the, these, these were this was the team that people said, these are your next champions when they yeah. formed back in the day. And they had a rough start, but then they went on a nice run. They actually got a chance to get to that title shot. They didn't win it, but then it looked like Mark Riley was going to step down after he lost the championship at the collision. He said, I'm not competing anymore. Enter Clark Wolf, his partner, said, buddy, let's give this one more shot. And here they are. They're going to give it a run and see what can happen. I love that idea. Clark and Riley have been two of the most beloved competitors since almost the start of this. And certainly Riley. He was there at the beginning. Uh, Clark shows up. She is, uh, she's, uh, she, she, let's be honest, she's an icon for many. Right. That sometimes puts a lot of pressure on these two because I know them both pretty well. But they 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 always rise above it. Riley's a two-time champ. Clark is is a champ of people's hearts in a lot of ways. So I, I'm so interested to see what they can do in this tournament. Well, Clark's been very hungry and hungry to get back. It was like I said, it was her doing. She wants to be in this tournament. But you talk about somebody who is beloved, and you got to go no further than look at the wild man, Josh McCookie. He's yeah. one of the most beloved figures we've ever had in this game. He's competed um, more than most people have competed. He he can get that Makuga magic. He can pull off a big win, or he can have a match like he did against Tom Dagnino and then pull it out at the very last second. Yeah. But the thing with Makuga, what he's been doing, he mentioned a while ago that he was going to have a brand new teammate once him and Finstock split up, right? Yeah. We still do not know who that person is. We know that we're going to see that person today, yeah. but we don't know who it is. It's just been Wolves of Steel versus Makuga and question mark. And a big question mark indeed. Yeah, Makuga, right. He's beloved. He is, his entire career has been about leaping and somehow his ass lands in butter. I don't know how this guy does it sometimes. Right. It, it's not just luck. It's like he pulls the knowledge from deep within. Right. And maybe he can pull a partner from deep within that compliments him. And, and send them to the top. Well, we're going to see right now what these two teams, because Makuga and Riley have a history together, um, Makuga and Clark Wolf, they, you look at what has happened in these tournaments from last year, Clark Wolf might be looking for some revenge against Makuga. Um, yeah. There's maybe some revenge that Makuga wants to put on Riley from the 2014 final. So let's hear from all the competitors right now. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, hey, partner. How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing good, and I'm mostly good because you have agreed to play one more round with me. Well, how do you say no to the classy one? What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? I'm back, and I'm not doing a fantasy update. I'm playing in the team tournament for the Ultimate Schmodown. A lot of you have been asking me on Twitter, who's your new teammate? Who's your new teammate going to be? Why haven't you announced a teammate? I'm holding you on my fantasy squad. I want to know who your teammate is my teammate is i'm gonna let you know who my teammate not this guy <laughs> no, no. sure i stepped down retired as it were that happens you know i've been in this league for a very long time but guess what we got real damn close so close real damn close mm. to a shiny belt a shiny belt that if i could get another shiny belt that's just another notch on this here shoulder that's right and damn it do you deserve a belt I'm gonna let you know who my teammate is when the match starts, so you better tune in because my new teammate and I are gonna take this league by storm. We are gonna beat everybody on our path. We have personality, we have knowledge, we have facial hair, and best of all, we have taste, and by taste, I mean tasting alcohol before every match. I'm actually kind of excited because it's, I feel like it's gonna be really great. Yeah, we've already seen some really good teams go down, so this, this tournament feels interesting mm -hmm. and I can't wait to like really test the waters and go out there and see what we're made of because I know we are one of the best teams out there. Why did it take so long to form another team? Well, because I had to find the right partner and I had to find a person that also had a vendetta and some vengeance and needed to exact revenge and that's exactly what this team is going to do. We're going to prove to the Lions then that they're just a bunch of guys, a bunch of kitty cats purring around. Brr, brr, meow. You can never underestimate Josh Makuga, as I know very well, although I still don't count that second match. Yeah, I don't count that second match either, Clark. Thanks, Riley. That's why we're here, I believe, for this match against Makuga slash unknown. Yeah, come out with it, Josh. I know. Like, who are you hiding back there what, behind the curtains? Are you scared? I mean, I hope it's somebody worthy of taking us on because, you know, you're going to need some help. Definitely. I love you, buddy. But Schmodown's about to start. Are you ready for this team match? Are you ready for the ultimate Schmodown team tournament? Goddamn right.
Well, no surprise, Makuka standing by himself, not giving it up still of who the partner is. Just says, you're going to find out when you find out. But the Wolves are still saying exactly what we thought they would. Yeah. They, just one last run. Can they do it? Can they get the goal? Absolutely. And Makuka standing by himself is what I see at most dance floors during wedding reception. So I'm used to seeing that. But yeah, uh, you, you know it's true. Um, but yeah, I, I'm ready, Kershaw. All right, well, we are going to get ready. How about the tail of the tape? Absolutely. With Riley and Clark, the Wolves are still, we definitely know their strengths are horror thriller. Both of them are really, really steeped in that knowledge. Also, superhero movies, classics, Oscar winners, directors, scores and soundtracks. Right. We know Mark Riley loves that. He's one of the rare champions of that category. All right, so with that being said, I'm ready to go. How about you? I'm ready, too. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Movie Trivia Showdown. <laughs> Introducing first. Making their Schmodown debut. No wins, no defeats. Right now, it is just the wild man, Josh Makuga! His partner is whiskey! Oh, yeah. His partner is alcohol! Is it a handicap? Look at that mustache, uh, That's a suit. Uh -oh. oh, wow. That's old school. Oh, that wow. That is old school. Chasing the whiskey with the with beer. fireball, that's a... So he's just okay. sitting down, so there's nothing... All right, so he's still, still nothing, no question mark, nothing. All right, so I guess we're going to intro... What if he couldn't find a partner for sure? Well, is there a... Uh, you, you, you Fellas, how yeah. we doing? Ladies and gentlemen, good to see everybody. Oh, nice, right. Makuga. So Makuga, this has been a, this has been something. Shut so up! Far. I'll tell you in a minute. All right, this has been something so far. Yeah. You have, uh, you have been holding this for a while. I remember you were on uh, Inside Schmodown, yeah. and you said you had an idea for a partner. You've had this partner for a while. I've, I've we've been talking. Okay. So uh, is, is it official? Or are we gonna have a match today? It's, it's official. It I, is I've, official. I've made a, I made a choice. Uh, I, I believe I, my talents are being brought together oh, like right. LeBron James and the big three in Miami. Uh, I've decided on a, on a partner. It's not Cody Hall, although I, I enjoy oh. him. I lost that oh. pool. Well, you're turning heel now. It's not It's not Drew McQueenie. Uh, he's, he scares me, but and he scares competitors, but he's also not my, my teammate. My teammate. You know what, Cody? Hit the music. It, oh, I know that music. I know that music. I know it. Look at that jacket. Oh, wait, is that a giant poke? That's a, 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 that's a,
Huh. I'll, I'll tell you, I, I thought my jacket was a bit much. Mark Riley looks at home like this. This is scary. Oh, nice man. to see you. All right. Hello, everybody. Oh, oh, well, there you go. Boy. The wolves of, the wolves oh. of creep and the, uh, and the wild berry. Man, losing that belt hit you fucking hard. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, do, remember, do very, before Therapy, we get, brother. Therapy. Before we get into this, so, Dewberry, why Makuga? Well, uh, we've both been spurned by terrible competitors right. who thought they could do better on their own. Right. Great. And have so far proven that to be false. We both enjoy a cold one with the boys, mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and you know, girls. he's a little bit of honey. I'm a little bit of vinegar. All right. It's gonna work. All a little right, bit of shake, a little bit of bake. Here we go. Round number one gonna work like this. The competitors will have eight questions that they will get one point apiece every time they answer correctly. They will write it on the board when it is time to answer. They will reveal it to the camera. They have 15 seconds to answer. Do not forget about the JTE rule and your challenges. If you don't know what those are, just ask and we will elaborate. But these are all competitors who have competed before. I assume you know. Yes. All right. So here we go. Round number one. Wolves of Steel, are you ready? Uh, I'm dressed as a clown. Yeah. All right. Let's do the, it. The Wild Berries, are you ready? Oh, you betcha. You're goddamn right we are. Then let's get ready to schmooze. Woo! Right. Woo! Here we go. Number one. Category of animated. Who provided the voice of Remy the Rat in Rat Tattooey? Outstanding. Yep. Uh, I didn't see that film, but I did raise pet rats as a kid. I know that about you. Yeah. So, yeah. did we get bit? Uh, no, but I didn't have a lot of friends. Oh. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And McCooks. Pat Oswalt. Correct. Clark. Pat Oswalt. Uh, Dewberry. Pat Oswald. And Wild. Riley. Pat Oswald. Clint Swift. Right. Dewberry. Clint Swift. Wild berries. Wild berries, the Wild Berries and the Wolves. 2-2. Two, two. OK. Can you running. taste it? Next one. Off and running. Question number two, guys. Question it. number two. Category is comedies. <laughs> Who played the hunky Tad Hamilton at 2004's Win a Date with Tad Hamilton? Uh, Chris and I entered that contest and didn't win. Five, four, three, two, one. Clark Wolf. Uh, Josh Dumel. Pens down, Riley. Uh, Juber. Uh, Topher Grace? I don't know. I haven't He's seen in that movie, movie though. <laughs> That's a half a point. Put it in. What? I said, who, who starred? Who played the hunky Tad Hamlet? Damn. And Riley. Yeah, I, I couldn't have, pull it. That's a question mark. And uh, that'd be Josh Dumel. All right, so there you go. So Clark and Josh both. Oh, that's Tad right. Hamilton. He's so here dreamy. All right. Get out of here. Right. <laughs> Oscar movies is your next category. Oscar uh -oh. movies. In Gladiator, who plays Commodus' older sister, Lucilia? Who plays the oldest sister? It's a good question considering what's going on these days. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, I own gladiator sandals. <laughs> of course you do. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Makuga. Uh, hey, Elliot. Lena Headey? That's incorrect. Not a bad guess, though. Riley. Connie Nielsen? That's correct. Oh, right. yeah. Makugs. Oh, Carrie Ann Moss. That was Incorrect, right. Clark. I said a lady who looks like Diane Kruger. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> it was, she does look like Diane Kruger. Right. Riley was the only one who got that one right. Good job, partner. All Thank right, you. guys. Thanks for the I Josh always confuse Connie Nielsen and Connie Britton. Anybody else? Mm. No. Oh, right. Just you, and you're competing in a game about trivia. I really All right. I can't Sounds do Sounds like this. a new category. <laughs> question oh. number four. Question number four. Category is horror thriller. What famous country music singer plays the wife in the survivalist couple, Heather Gummer, in 1990s? Tremors. Ooh, Tremors. When was the last time you saw 1990? <laughs> uh, by my comp Could you repeat the question? Sure, that is going to count as one. What famous country music singer plays the wife in the survivalist couple, Heather Gummer, in 1990's Tremors? You think that you're going to dot Clark Wolf for cutting off your joke? No, no, no. I, it was not going to be can funny. Name everybody Five, else in that effing movie. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. Pens down, Riley. What do you got? Nothing. Me? A Judd. Okay, that's incorrect. Uh, yep. McCooks. Martina McBride? Incorrect. Clark. Reba McIntyre. That's correct, correct for a point. Oh, El that, the survival. Dolly Elliot. Parton. Thank right. you. Right. Only is there more than one country singer who's a woman? So Clark is get five yes. and three. I thought five you meant three. Kevin Bacon's yeah, girlfriend, yeah. who was the seismologist. Here we go, guys. Category. Michael Gross. Action Adventure. Michael I, Gross. It's the Come dad on. from Family yeah. Ties. Action Adventure. What was the name of the sequel to The Fugitive? Oh. Oh. Yeah. I once survived a bus, bus crash. D uh, is that? Did you yeah, I, I was driving. No, oh, okay. no one was on the bus. Drinking milk? Yeah. 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 Five, four, three, two, 
One pens down, please, and Clark. U.S. Marshals. That is correct. Um, Dewberry. Elliot. U.S. Marshals. Correct. That's Riley. Correct. New. Didn't have it. Didn't Who's? have it. The same man. U.S. Marshals. Wow. Go. Look at that. Hey, look, well, they're well, going to make him some just steam Just talked there. about it on uh, WGN. Yep. Okay. <laughs> there we go. All right, guys. <laughs> question <laughs> six. Category is directors. Who directed The Usual Suspects? Oh, I don't know this thing. It's not a... You're blanking. Some blank stares. Yeah. Riley. And Riley seems to have gotten it. He oh seems to have recovered. He's oh, shit. struggling in the first round a little Five, bit. Five, four, oh my God. three, two, and one. Makuga. I don't have anything. Clark. Singer. Brian Singer. Can we get... Yeah, we'll get that. She okay, said, that's Elliot, correct. Elliot. Brian Singer That's with correct. The first name. And, and Riley. Brian Singer. Brian All right. God, I'm letting okay. the wild berries down. Because, Son of a bitch. Because Makuga missed on the first name and Clark... Said it, said it, and wrote it. We'll give it to her. Okay. We'll give it to her. I think. All right, here we go. So, on the next question is number seven, and that's fantasy sci fi. Name the actor that plays the terrifying T1000 in Terminator 2 Judgment Day. All right. I like to kick eggs into a bathtub sometimes. Well, it's better than some other things people can do in showers. That's the truth. You know? That's uh, true. Five, four, three. Two, one. All right, pens down. And Mark Riley. Robert Patrick. That's, That's correct. correct. McCooks. I put Michael Patrick? <laughs> Patrick. <laughs> Give me that. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. If I had just written Patrick, would I have gotten it correct? No, because the whole reason why is because she you had gotten it. it wrong beforehand. So she said the name without ever hearing the first name. And so if you would have just said Patrick right now, we couldn't have given it to you. All right, so Clark. Robert Patrick. That's correct. And Elliot. Robert Patrick. There you go. Right. So it's only three points. Three here points. We got this question here. Round number two. Final question. Eighth question. Dramas. Category dramas. What 2015 crime drama was directed by Denis Villeneuve and starred Emily Blunt? Nope. <laughs> All right. We got Won't be needing that anymore. You own it. Noises over there, a little yeah. frustration, Christian. Uh -huh. And five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Elliot. Sicario. That's, That's correct. correct. Means Riley. assassin. Sicario. Correct. McCoogs. Oh. Sicario. Sicario. Oh, all right. Question. So, Makuga there dropped a couple big ones at the end. 12 8. He's got to have a. Uh, if you know Sorry, Makuga, Elliot. in the second it's round. It's all right. Uh, kind of what he does. Pain. That's kind of what he does, though. Kind of what he does. He always has a strong second round. So, all right, here we go now. We get to the second round. Round number two is going to work like this. The competitors will spin the wheel. If it lands on a category they don't like, they have the option of spinning one more time, unless, of course, it lands on opponent's choice. Each question is worth two points apiece, unless they go to multiple choice. Then it is only worth one point. You can steal from your opponents in this round. All right, so Wolves of Steel, you guys have the lead. Would you like to go first or second? We'll go first. We're going to go first. first. All right. All right. All right, Clark, give it a good spin. Rip it. Like There's the spin. All right, good spin. Not horror. Not horror. Spin is in, Christian. Spin is in. I don't think Wolves of Steel really needs to get horror here. Comedy. 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 It's hysterical. Comedy. Now, do they, what do they want to do here? Wolves of Steel is taking take it horror and it's done great on Yeah, you're absolutely right. Sometimes what you think is your strength, you get confident in, you answer too fast. We've seen that happen. All right, we're going to spin again. Spin again. Spin again. Much deliberation. There you go. Good spin. I like that spin. No horror, no horror, no horror. Where are they going? No horror, no horror, no horror. Will horror work out? Come on, Neil. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. Go 90s! Oh. Yes! Spinner's yes. no. choice! No. That's a big one! No! 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 <laughs> Makuga upset. Dewberry taking a shot. Taking shots. Uh, Dewberry and Fuck. No. I have to say, Dewberry and Makuga work amazingly They do. Together. They do. They we need as much help as we can get. God damn it! Win or lose, I want to see this team play a lot. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. uh, you know. Don't worry, I'm flying a plane later. <laughs> All right, All right, we're gonna go horror. You're gonna go horror. Go horror. Sure. Oh my god! Ooh. I gotta tell you, I think way to surprise the fans. I think it Hurts. could be Makuga's actually going heel here. Yeah. All right, I'll go first. All, All right, right. Uh, here Makuga. we go, guys. All right, six questions in the realm of horror. <laughs> All right, back to your favorite movie, Tremors. Oh shit. Who played Earl Bass in the 1990 horror comedy Tremors? Earl Bass. I actually know this answer, so f off, you it wearing douchers. Oh wow. So. Multiple choice. Uh, multiple choice. A, James Coburn. B, Michael Gross. C, Tony Gennaro. D, Fred Ward. Uh, 
five, four, three, two. Michael Gross. It's incorrect. incorrect. It's uh, Fred Ward. For That's one a point, point for the Wild Bears. Oh my God! Oh I got one back. All right. Suck it. Did okay. you see that? Sorry, here we go. I didn't mean to say that. I just don't like your outfits. All right, here we, <laughs> here we what go. What do you mean? All right. <laughs> who plays FBI Special Agent Jennifer Marsh, who investigates a serial killer who rigs contraptions that kills his victims, based on website hits in the 2008 thriller Untraceable. Untraceable. You're alive, damn it. That's a miracle. Mm -hmm. Multiple choice. Is it A, Hillary Swank, B, Diane Lane, C, Marissa Tomei, D, Renee Russo? Deep cuts in this category. <laughs> Good job, boys. <laughs> DJ Elliot Dubarry here with your deep cuts five, three to five four. every day. Marissa Tomei. Incorrect. Correct. <laughs> five. Jeez. Four. Questions. Three. I knew these. Uh, Renee Russo. Same correct. Yeah, Diane right. Lane. Oh, oh we were yeah. all, all right. All right. <laughs> all right, question three. Oh, yeah, Untraceable, that fucking great movie. Question. Where she goes into the minds of a serial killer. Sure. Question, question three. <laughs> question three. Modern horror greats The Cabin in the Woods and Get Out share which actor? Bradley Whitford. For two points. That's correct. That's, correct. Right. All right. That's got to feel good, I love good, Sports Christian. Night in America. It's a great show. Here we yeah. go. Here we go. I mean, Studio 60 on the Sunset Show. All right. What West Wing. 2014 Dracula movie starred Luke Evans as the vampire? Dracula Untold. Two more two points for the Wolves. All right, How so did I miss that when that was in theaters? Two more, two more points. Two Me and Clark went on a trip to Romania for we that, sure and did. I still haven't seen it. <laughs> here, here we go. All right. What? Good man, Dewberry. Dedicated yeah. professional. Question Sorry, five. Universal. Question five. What state was the setting for the filming in the Blair Witch Project? Maryland. That's correct for two right. points. Oh, All right. You know what? Maryland Last one. is a really small state, and I don't think they should get movies. There. Burkittsville. Right. Burkittsville. Last, last one. Woods there. They have last. crabs. All right, last one. In the 1974 film Black Christmas, where does the killer hide for the majority of the Ooh. film? Yeah. I, the attic. That's correct for two oh, points. Right. So the I wolves actually sorry. we were looking for started, your underwear. They started sorry. off a little wow. rough, but yeah. now they've got themselves Why an not 11 the chimney point lead. Or a tree. Oh, that's All right. Lead. So here we go. So yeah. now the wild no berries are up. Time for them to spin. They uh, wild berries. Rip it. They, they, Watch they Dewberry have to spin this effing question. wheel. Watch it. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, look at that. Spin. Spin. It's the showcase Monster. showdown, ladies and gentlemen. Monster spin. One dollar. One dollar. One dollar. All right. Coming down. We are almost on. All right, so do you want to spin again or keep family films? Let's discuss. <laughs> Let's discuss. <laughs> I, I really do. They're I quickly the becoming 90s. one of my favorites. Yeah, a lot of that. Time. You ever like run to a bar party and those two guys I, in the I, corner still make holding them? court a whole night? That's those these guys. guys yeah. yeah. All right, so I got. I need. I got to give you five seconds. I got to keep family films. Uh, spin it again. 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 He goes spin. He goes Big spin. spin. One of the bigger spins we've seen in this tournament God, so far. It is. I love Bob Barker is speaking into his pencil thin microphone right now, and he is psyched. Comedy, it comedy. is going drama? to be no! drama. Yes! All right, drama. All right, so they drama. Go. Thank oh, the Lord. Close. Damn it! I was hoping you get name Pixar. a Pixar movie. All right, All right here Fuck. we go. All right, guys, you are stuck. It would seem with dramas. Let's see what you can do. You get six questions. First question coming in: What do a bunch of bullying teenagers rub into the Amish men's faces when they are in town in Witness? Five, four, three. Multiple choice. A, pudding. B, a raw egg. C, ketchup. D, ice cream. That doesn't help at all. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember if it was dark? Five. Wait, could you repeat the choices again? You get one choice for A, pudding. B, a raw egg. C, ketchup. D, ice cream. Pudding. Five. Oh, we're going to go ice cream. That's correct. Yes! yes! The magic guessing. One I've been to Amish guessing. country. It's lovely. Make great pies. Go. Hell of a chair that making. pudding, sir, was an Very ode cool. to Lloyd Bridges. Oh, all right. That's Oh, yeah. Question right. two. Who guess. directed Eight Mile? Five. Multiple choice, please. A, Jim Sheridan. B, George Tillman Jr. C, Curtis Hansen. D, Ernest R. Dickerson. 
going to go with A. Incorrect. <laughs> Fuck. Curtis Hansen. That's for correct. One for one. A big steal. Shit. That puts them big back steal. in the knockout range. Yeah. Yeah. God, I was choking yeah. on my mom's spaghetti. I forgot. All right, guys. Question three. Question three. Spike Lee directed Ed Norton in what the film? The 25th hour. Whoa, two wow, more points. There you go. All right. Didn't a great even, film. Didn't even consult. Didn't even yeah. consult. That's a wild right. berry answer right there. Suck it, Rob. Hey, Your fourth question. Pass me that over. <laughs> Are you ready? Fourth question. Spoiler alert. How does Mikey die at the end of the ice storm? Whoa. Spoiler. I, I did warn. What movie? The Ice Storm. <laughs> oh, how does Mikey... I've never seen that. The movie Five. is called The Ice Storm. I've never seen Multiple it. choice, please. Yeah. A, drowning. B, electrocution. C, freezing. D, overdose. None of the options is an ice storm. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's a good call. You would think ice storm. Five. Four. Three. Three. Drowning, yeah. Incorrect. Incorrect. Electrocution. There Correct. you go. What? Wow. What is this movie? 21, Who, who's seen Ice Storm? Raise your hand in the crowd right now. Besides Roka. I want to know. No liars. All right. Riley has yeah. seen it. There you go. Not On fair. the all Riley network. It's right. not even HD. So mm -hmm. question five. All right. Your fifth question, guys. In the movie Arrival, Louise tells Colonel Weber that what word came about from a misunderstanding with Aborigines? Oh, fuck. I really didn't like this movie, uh, Oof. and I know everybody else did. Uh, listen, Roka, I'm not five, talking about it. four, three, two, multiple one. choice. Multiple choice. A. Plant. B. Kangaroo. C. River. D. Crocodile. Kangaroo. There That's correct. For a All point. right. So now it is staying alive. They're staying alive here. Twenty-two, thirteen. Here is your final question. Final, final question. Final question. What? Clint Eastwood film was shot and set in the Detroit metropolitan area. Gran Torino. Two points. For two points. All right. So they got themselves out of a little bit. They're still down seven points now going into round number three. That is a big deficit to overcome against the Wolves of Steel. All right. All right. So they're going to try to avoid a TKO as we get into round number three. Round number three is going to work like this. The competitors will pick three numbers from one to 20. First one is worth two. Second one is worth three, and the final one will be worth five. You, The player will decide who wants two, who wants the three, and then they can confer on the five. All right, Wolves of Steel, you guys are in the lead. Please pick three numbers. Four, 12, and 19. Four, 12, 19 for the Wolves. Okay, and for the Wildberries. 13, three, eight. 13, three, right. eight. Right. A lot of conviction yeah. there Hashtag on the 13, the Wild three. Berry. All right, All right, so I will be asking the questions to the Wildberries as we now get into. Here we go, guys. So your first category, which was category number 13, horror thriller. Horror thriller. Rock, paper, scissors? Um, all right. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. <laughs> we didn't ask that last time. Yeah. This one? You'll yeah, float, too. You'll float, You'll too. float, too. You'll float, too. Listen, if we still miss it, we have a chance to win who's still. Take, who's taking it? I am. All right. So which 2015 comedy is based on a popular series of children's books and stars Jack Black? Wait, oh. horror, that's not horror thriller. Oh, sorry. Forget, forget what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, goosebumps. That's two points. That's two points. Bam. All right. Bam. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. We did it. All right. So do you want, sure. is there a challenge you guys have? Nah. No, no, no. That's okay. fine. All right. Whatever. Yeah. All right. So now we go to. Oh, what are you putting a pity party on us? We don't need, <laughs> no, no, need no. your pity bone hands no, and no, no. weird All right. face. So You'll Elliot, too. Elliot. Have you seen my thumb trick? <laughs> Elliot, you're going to have a chance here to get within two if you can get this one correct. And that is in the category of 80s films for your three I like pointer. It. I like it. The coastal town of Sweet Haven is the setting for which 1980 musical comedy? I can't multiple Five. choice on this. Nope. No. Four. Uh, three. Grease. Looking for Popeye. Popeye. Ah. Oh, Popeye. Oh, yeah. Popeye. All right. So it comes down to this for the Wildberries right now. Robert Altman. They will have. One opportunity to send it back to the Wolves of Steel. However, if they miss, the Wolves of Steel will advance and will be playing late to the party in round number two. All right, so here we go. Your five-pointer. Can I stop you real quick, though? Yeah. Uh, being fashionably late to the party, actually kind of socially acceptable. Just saying. All right. 
Okay. Now I'm Important gonna... safety tip. Thanks, Makuga. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Glad You're we good. did that. Like, if you got to dress up like a clown, it's okay if you're five minutes late. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Here so. we go, guys. So, for your five-pointer, in order to send it back to the Wolves of Steel, your question is in the realm of action and adventure. All right. All yes. Action yeah. and adventure. All right, five-pointer, gentlemen. Who played the first lady in Olympus Has Fallen? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my God! Is the cougar walking off? Is he Seriously? leaving his partner behind? No. All right. I thought for a second we had a dramatic turn. I'm, all right. Five, I'm thinking. Four. Somebody Google it up. Three, two. Get repeat the question. <laughs> Who played the first lady in Olympus Has Fallen? All right. So wait a second. Olympus Has Fallen. Is that Jamie Foxx running with the Jordans? He's like the Jordans guy, or is this? The Five. Four. Repeat the question again. All right. <laughs> Who played the first lady in Olympus Has Fallen? Uh, we're going to go uh, the lovely uh, Diane Lane. And your <laughs> winner, by way of technical knockout, Clark Wolf, Mark Riley, the Wolves of Steel. The answer was Ashley Judd. Ashley oh, Judd. Like it wasn't, it wasn't Judd. I thought you were going to get it. I really did. So I will tell you this. Even though that was a pretty like, horror thriller worked out for the Wolves of Steel yeah, this I time did. around, um, I really want to see the Wildberries play soon. I love them. And I want to see them like entertaining at parties on a cruise ship together. I yeah. think that is also a line of work they could enter. I think they are absolutely amazing. Um, let's go ahead and say that the Wolves of Steel are back on track. Yeah. 22 17 didn't have to answer a single question in round three. They played really well. They got the horror thriller category. This time it worked out for them. And now we're going to talk to Emma Fife, who is back with both the Wolves of Steel and the Wild Berries. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? Emma Fife here with the victorious Wolves of Steel, Mark Riley, Clark Wolf. It is so lovely to see you here in the winner's circle again. Oh, thank you, Emma. Yeah, that felt good. I like wins. It's very fun. We don't have to float now. <laughs> you got your fucking wins. Okay. Hey. All right. Oh, Sorry, good buddy. sports. Sorry, good buddy. sports. I mean, you know, speaking of, I, I feel like going into this match, there was a little bit of an intimidation factor with these outfits in regards to Josh Makuga, who, as we notoriously know, is not a fan of horror, and here you are in the Pennywise costume, one of the most, you know, terrifying horror characters and iconic of all time. Do you do you feel that that was a part of your strategy going into the match today? Certainly. I, I mean, part of it, yeah. I mean, but as you know, Wolves of Steel, we like to, uh, the theatrics are fun, and we usually are very horror-themed. Uh, imagine, hey, dude, you want to see me a spot at the bar? Uh, <laughs> But if, when it worked out that uh, Makuga and uh, Dewberry were our first match, uh, well, it just, uh, I don't know, what is that? It, it just was perfect timing. Mm, serendipity. Serendipitous. It made sense. It was the way to go. Now, I have to say, going into that first round, we all know that Josh Makuga is no slouch here in the Schmodown. Nope. And Elliot, even when he was with Ricky, was a very strong contender. So that first yep. round, it was pretty tough. For sure. I mean, look. And all jokes aside, we don't we don't take them lightly. We don't take any competitors lightly at this point. But especially Josh and Dewberry. And um, the first round was a yeah, it was a close one. Yeah, it was really close. Dewberry knows his shit. Always has. Always will. Don't count him out. And Josh Makuga. I mean, my God, the guy took me to the last question in the championship round. You never count out Makuga. We did not take these guys lightly at all. In fact, we were like. I wonder how this is gonna go. We just gotta do our best and play our game one question at a time. And fortunately in round two, the wheel did go in your favor because you got that spinner's choice, but it was kind of a rough start to the yeah. horror thriller category. Look, we here's the strategy with that. We've gotten horror thriller before and we didn't crush it like we thought we did or we thought we would. And uh, But we had a feeling that the other team might not know the answers, which also didn't pay off because they stole a point from us. Yeah. and. Those first couple questions, I mean, obviously we got to brush up on some tremors, um, <laughs> but untraceable? That's a that's a deep cut. What yeah, the hell are you? That was you a tough a, one. You in a film school catalog yeah. on what's the most like Diane Lane? Was but we that? we felt pretty good about the rest of the round. The, re the rest was good. Yeah, the rest definitely went in your favor, and ultimately you guys emerged victorious as you have so many times before. And Mark Riley, a former movie trivia showdown champion here in our midst who said you were going to retire, you were just gonna see this through with Clark to the end of this tournament. Man, it, out there it looked like you you didn't miss a beat. You're still as strong as ever. So are you, what what made you decide to come back? Her. 
She's awesome. She's the classy one. She deserves a belt. If we can run the table on this thing, get her a belt, that's great. Then my job is done. But, you know, I'm a competitor too. One more run, get another shiny belt, another notch on the shoulder. Hell yeah. We want that. I agree. I want it. I want that belt. When we lost to the Patriots, I was very sad, and I'm coming for it. Now, if you were to get that team belt, would that maybe inspire you to come back into singles? Would that make you hungry for more competing, Mark Riley? Probably not. No. I'm going to be honest. I think uh, if I get the belt, that's just a great way to go out and uh, just to really take some time and do some behind the scenes stuff here and really focus on making this league something great because there's some great people out there. I want to see who gets that belt. Well, I think I speak for everyone when I say that we are very glad to have you still standing by Clark Wolf's side. And up next, you guys are going to be facing late to the party. Yeah. A crew that drives in here from Arizona. They're fans of the Schmodown. They do reaction videos. And they are damn good competitors. They are super good. I watch their reaction videos when they play along. And some of the stuff that they get, I'm shocked. And it's easy for us to sit at home and go, or it's easiest for to look at people who sit at home and play. And you go, yeah, but when you're under the lights. But when they were under the lights, they were great. So it's going to be it's gonna be a tough one. Yeah, they're really good. I'm, I'm impressed by those guys. I'm fans of theirs. And I'm glad they came in. I mean, they came in and they defeated whatever those other guys' names were and good on them for doing that. I'm happy that they did it because they deserve the win. They know their stuff. This is gonna be a tough, tough match. Absolutely. Well, I know that they are very much looking forward to taking on you guys. You say that you are fans of them. They are also fans of you. So it will certainly be a match for the books, I think. We'll be right back with our not quite winners today, the newly revealed Team Wildberries. And we are back with the long-awaited Team Wildberries. They may not have been victorious in the Schmodown here today, but they are victorious in their fashion choices. Thank you, yeah, I think, and in America's hearts mostly, we're very, uh, I, listen, I, Ellie and I have been talking about this for a while. I think we make a great team. I think today, we just kind of got questions that were, we were close to, there, I feel like there was no middle ground. It was like, we knew it, or I had no idea. I wasn't even like uh, Joe Carnahan. Rome was not built in a day. Julius Caesar lost many Schmodown matches before that could happen. Very and cool. you know what? I think we hit our stride a little too late. But also, anytime we play these jabronis in Wolves of Steel, and this thing's on the fucking wheel, I gotta start asking questions. Who's got a little extra money in their pocket? We'll never know, but you know. Got to stay paranoid. I'm with Elliot on that one. Listen, I, I I feel like the wheel was weighted way towards the Wolves of Steel side. I'm not pulling. Listen, I'm not pulling any kind of conspiracy theories that this match was rigged. I'm just saying that if people are looking for entertainment value, the Wolves of Steel are fine. But you need they're very nice people. I wish I could say more bad things about Clark Wolf and Mark Riley, but they're so fucking nice and yes. friendly. So Stop I'm gonna. Stop being so nice. I'm gonna not, I'm gonna skip addressing them. I'm gonna address. The rest of the snow down universe. Get fucking ready, dicks, because I'm back. I took a little break. I tried to make myself more positive after being spurned by my old partner, Ricky. Sorry, Emma. I realized positivity is a dead end, and I'm back. I'm going to put a little vinegar on Josh McCuga's honey, Woo! and we're going to make something that tastes real fucking bad. You ever, For all you elitists, you ever bitten into a pie that you thought was full of wild berries, but in fact, it was full of some spicy wild berries? Yeah. Don't go in the forest, you might eat something that's poisonous. That's right. And that's a wild berry. What's in a wild berry, Elliot? You never know what's in it until it's in you. You, <laughs> you never ask what's in a wild berry. No. Ever. You can't judge it based on its colors. You don't want to know the answer. I'm not sure where this metaphor is going. It's going everywhere. I'm very happy, Elliot, to see you finally playing with a teammate who is worthy of your skill And level. playing for the everyman, not the elitist. Right, yes, and and we all are, are very happy to see you truly We are not the one percent. Look out, Schmodown Illuminati. Here in the Schmodown. And Elliot, you get a chance to play in the competing- Da Vinci Code. Five-way singles, are you excited Ron Howard. about that? Okay. Angels and demons. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I'm gonna play another match pretty soon. It's gonna be great to dust off uh, this pink jacket. Cause this is my, this is what I wear now. Yeah. Compromises were made in this team membership. Right. And I'll be there. Excellent. Don't act like you're not impressed, Emma. I'm, Don't act like you're not impressed. I am super impressed. Is I, I'm super impressed. Elliot, is this your own jacket? Has Josh McCoy? No, it was borrowed. 
And right. I have to return it after we finish this interview. Fantastic. Well, we all look forward to seeing... There's a thing seeing... called the lion's den, and now there's a thing called the thorn bush, full of wild berries. And you're goddamn right we're coming for all of you. Can you taste it? Woo! So look, the Wolves of Steel sticking to that same uh, this, the same thing. They are going to keep on playing until they're not playing anymore. They want a chance to win the gold. You know, Mark Riley was saying it, that he's been there before he's had the championship. He, I know Mark, he is really playing. He wants Clark to get that championship. And Clark, I know Clark very well. She wants to play for a championship. So they are playing very hard. You can tell that he's very classy. They had nice words to say about late to the party, as we knew that they would. But you, you talked to the Wildberries, as you knew that interview was going to be hysterical. They're not going anywhere. They want to play together. Makuga's saying the same reasons why he picked Dewberry in the first place. Dewberry is saying some nice words. And that's a team that I think could be, if they get the right categories, could be dangerous for some people. Yeah, I never count Makuga out until, well, today. But uh, he could always come back. I think it was on the tip of his tongue. If he didn't have 12 shots of fireball, he might have been able to pull that out. Or that helps him connect to another level and plane of existence. All right. I uh, really heard that. All right, so now you guys go ahead and comment. How about this? Who's winning the next matchup between the Wolves of Steel and Late to the Party? That's your round two matchup. Will it be those kids from Arizona? Or will it be the old vets and Wolves of Steel? What do you guys think? Who will win? Who do you got winning now that we have so many matches down in round, in round number one? Who's the odds on favor now? A lot of upsets that happen. Um, a lot of big matches coming up. Go ahead, comment, let us know what you think. Check out this man's show, Inside Schmodown, every Thursday on the Facebook page on Collider. Also, make sure you check out Inside, like that's your show. Also, check out the Schmodown Rundown on the SK Plus channel, as well as the Schmoes No iTunes. Thank you guys very much, and we'll throw it over right back to Josh McCuga, who's got the fantasy update. What's up, movie trivia Schmodown fans? <laughs> you lost. You should have picked me as your partner. And you fucking lost. You think you think if I would have picked you, we would have won? <sighs> yeah. I, Did you I, know you any answers been... that I didn't know? I knew a few. Did you know remember, any? Remember the one that you, you thought you got right and then you did it? Like all of them? You can. That was that. fucking great. Go ahead, Sorry, I'm going. I'm going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you walk back in this frame again, I will literally rip your face off. I'm Josh McCougar here with you. I'm serious. I'm serious. Walk across the camera right now. I'm going to play you in a second. Get out of here! Josh McCougar here with the fantasy finish mode out, man. You got it. You know what I mean? He's shot fireball on a couple years. Here's what's happening. He scored a few points. The Wolves of Steel scored one. It happens in the league. And really and truly, when you think about Team Wildberries, everybody's like, oh, they're probably a pretty good choice. They're a great choice. They're the best choice out there right now. You know why? Because we are putting points on the board, but we're also putting smiles on your face. And those are priceless. Those are worth no fantasy points, but they are worth fantasy points in your heart. They're not worth shit. I swear to Christ, we will play matches and we will win them. And I will spurn Cody until he's dead. I will rub his face in the mire that is the voice of my enemies. I will take him to where tremors live. Michael Gross, Fred Ward, Kevin Bacon, all of them will eat the death that is... Are you drinking my fireball? That's your fantasy update right here on the Movie Trivia Schmodown. For all things fantasy, go to schmoesno.com and Frank Janish. And of course, the Schmodown Rundown and Schmoes Blog, the Rundown Blog. I, I forget what it is. They're really cool on Twitter. I've tweeted, retweeted it a couple times. I'm a little too drunk to remember the full thing. See you guys next time. Kidding, I'm not going to throw it. Oh, my God. I, yeah. It. Yeah. It was so good. No, the opening scene is giving me nightmares. No, the clown room. The, the clown, clown, no, the was clown the room was amazing. <laughs> I, I just room like everybody best. in the audience flipped out. I know. And there was that moment when Pennywise just. I know. Yeah, I can't. So, I can't. Can, can, but can, okay, can. so all the scary stuff was cool, but the kids were definitely the best. The Losers Club the was like perfect. Pitch perfect casting. The Losers Club, I, I mean, everybody had a moment in that movie. They stole the movie. I, I wish, love it. I wish they could join the Worlds of Steel. I wish they could play Schmodown with us. They'd be good at trivia. I, I bet, bet they would, right? I mean, 80 said it's like kind of nostalgia. They know their stuff. I wonder how they would do at a uh, at a Schmodown. Yeah, me hey, too. So, uh, can we be part of Oh my, oh my god. god! You guys yes. can definitely be a part of the show. Are you? Welcome, hey, welcome, welcome. Hey guys, oh hey buddy. Come oh, on hi. in guys. Oh, so, oh, hi. Are you guys, are you, so are you guys, 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 are you
Yeah, this is are. crazy. You oh guys, my God. Wait, who are these people? I've never seen them in my life. <laughs> no, wait, okay. You guys so, want to play the schmo down? Why yeah, not? We are playing the schmo yeah, down. Yeah, no. I mean, are you how ready? do we do this? I, Don't grab me by the guess, hips again. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Nope, guys, save it. Save it for the rings. Yeah, save it save for the, the rings. Ring. I got an idea. I'll touch you later. I bet you guys. <laughs> I bet you guys could all take on each other. Yeah, I doubt you it. will. Yeah. It'd yeah? be in a free for all. How about a free for all? Free for all. Free for all, Shmo. Right. You're dead. Yeah. You're dead. It's on. Last loser standing. Let's sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Last Let's loser's go. the winner. Let's get it on. Let's do it. Last Slow loser down. wins. Slow down. <laughs> <laughs> Play on words? That's right. That's right. Play on words or what? Am I right? Perfect.